Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO, free impartial advice on all your debt. This is Kuben Cassis for IFL TV and Association of MTK Global. We're in the fight bubble. Ben Formella fight week. I'm joined by Mr. Eddie Hearn and his latest acquisition, Laron Richards. Yes. Latest superstar. Okay. Come on, get your words right. No pressure. No <laughs> pressure. Uh, yeah, I'll start with you, Eddie. Um, yeah, huge signing for, for Matchroom. Yeah, very big. I mean, you know, I've been watching Laron for many, many years. In fact, what people don't know is I watched him fight once. He used to be with Brian Lawrence, who had Eric Ochang at the time. Remember that? Yeah, we're yeah. going back six, yeah. seven years. Yeah. And I think he was, he'd had a couple of pro, pro fights at the time. And Tony Bellew was preparing for Adonis Stevenson and needed a southpaw. And I just, I just thought, I've got the perfect kid. I think Tony was a little bit concerned that he'd only had a couple of pro fights, brought him up and he sparred brilliantly. And, and Tony said at the time, wow, this kid can really fight. You know, we were sort of coming through at the time. And then I heard that he'd signed with Frank Warren and Queensbury. And I was a bit gutted really, because I thought, ah, oh, because I knew how good he was. So um, then obviously I knew he'd breeze past British Commonwealth levels. And then thankfully, um, you know, uh, Sam Jones and Adam Morley and S Jam got in touch and said, you know, there's, a, there's an opportunity with Lerone Richards. And we just absolutely jumped at it and got it done within an hour. Because he's, you know, I think the great thing about Lerone is he's ready to go. You know, sometimes you have to, we've, we've got to do a job with him in terms of his profile, in terms of building him as a star, because where he is in terms of his number of fights and his titles, he should be a bigger star than he is. Now he's with us, that's our job to make sure people realise how good Lerone Richards is. But the great thing for us is, in terms of where he is, in terms of the levels of fights and where he wants to go, he's ready to go. You know, and British Commonwealth levels, they're done, really, as far as I'm concerned. Now we go to European and world levels, but we do need to work on making this kid a star because he is a star, he has a great story, and you've got to tell it. But the great thing is, he can really fight. You know, teamed up with Dave Coldwell, you know, had, had all the right experience on the way up, like I said, cruising through domestic level. Now it's time to go on. And we all know the super middleweight division is a division that we are stacked with, you know, with Callum and Billy Joe, and obviously Canelo, and Gennady Golovkin at middleweight. You know, Demetrius Andre at middleweight, Danny Jacobs at super middleweight. So these aren't names that I'm saying he's ready for now, but in 12 months' time, that's the level we want him to be at. And first, he has to come through those top 15 ranked guys, and that'll be the plan. The plan will be to get him out quickly in December, just to get out there and, you know, get rid of the cobwebs and go into 2021, box very frequently, box against high caliber opposition, but we'll be led by Lerone and Sam and Dave Coldwell to say how quickly we want to move. But you know, the general feeling is quick. But I would just like to just take it a little bit slow so we can make him a star that he needs to be. Mm. New chapter for you in your career now, Laron. So exciting times. <laughs> yeah, I'm very, very, very excited um, about the future. And I you know, can't wait to showcase my skills in Sky Sports. Our first come across you when you were in, I think you was helping Billy Joe out in sparring, I think it was about yeah, seven years was, ago in Marbella. Yeah, when and Billy Joe was talking very highly of you yeah, back when then. Yeah, boxing Andy Lee, I was Billy Joe's main sparring partner for that. Um, yeah, I spent most of my, you know, my younger days being like a sparring partner, you know, gaining experience and uh, yeah, I guess it's helped me to get me to the point I am today. It's mad when you think how far you, like, I remember you going up there spar, you were a kid, I'm sure you had confidence, but to think you'd be here now as British and Commonwealth champion, yeah. you know, ready to go on and, and move on to the world stage next year, you've done great. Yeah. Because you weren't supposed to make it, really. Do you know what I mean? No. You never come through the system where you had an easy ride where it was like pro contract, you know, matchroom sky, mm -hmm. 12 easy fights, you come in. You've always, and that's the thing that with Sam and those guys, you've got the mentality of, Whatever fight, you know, it's not, oh, we need to, we need to protect him. But you've never been protected. You know what I mean? Especially yeah. when you were starting out. No. It took you a long time to get a break. You're right. He's actually a good example to young fighters coming through the small hall shows or coming through without the gold medals and that kind of stuff, how you can actually get yourself in a position. Because you could have slipped through the net 
Yeah. How many times, when you look back at that, those sort of moments where you probably thought, do you know what? I ain't going to get a chance here. <laughs> yeah, now on those small balls, yeah. you, you were boxing very infrequently. Yeah. And then yeah. all of a sudden, you know, that's a good example to people. Good example to young fighters that you just got to keep grinding away. And if you work hard and if you're good enough, the opportunities will come. Is that the way it is for you now? You've kind of done the, the British and Commonwealth scene. It's time to kind of move up to that gap between that level and, and world level, which is European level, which a lot of fighters kind of miss that and don't gain the experience at European level to take yeah. you on to that next stage. Um, yeah, absolutely. British and Commonwealth level completed it. Done. Now it's European. I want to, I want to, I want to conquer Europe and then um, move on towards um, you know, world level. That is like the old traditional route, you know. It always used to be, actually used to be British, Commonwealth, European. Mm. It's more now Commonwealth, British, European. But I would love to see him fight for the European title. He's vacant at the moment and there is talk, you know, he's in the rankings for that EBU title. So that would be amazing to get that one ticked off the list. But I just feel like I want to box him all over the world as well. I'd like to give him a US fight at some point in 2021 as well. And just, just fight big name opposition. I think he needs a breakout fight against a big name. You know, a, I don't know, we'll see what happens in a, in a week's time, but a Gabe Brasado, you know, someone that's got sort of that, that big profile here and in the US that he can go out and make a statement against because that is the only thing we're playing catch up on is the profile and making him a star. Because, you know, as an undefeated fighter who's very, very good as British and Commonwealth champion, he should be a bigger star. So the team here had a good day yesterday doing the promo shoots and the filming. I think he got a nice, pleasant surprise of how we work. And that's what we're going to be doing. I've said to the guys, you need to put the time in now with Laron. And the main thing is we have to establish if it's Laron or Laron. Because I always get the names wrong with all the fighters now because I'm getting old. Laron? It's a Laron. Laron. I told you, I said Laron earlier and you said Laron. That's why I was second guessing. You've been saying it for years, Coogan. Has he? Yeah. You've got to start doing your research, mate. It's very lazy. Yeah. <laughs> Mate, I, you didn't even tell me you were signing him. So what, what on earth are you going about? Mouth. So what one is it then? Laron, Laron, Laron. It's always been Laron. Yeah, Richards, cool, yes. You, you brought it up. It's a bit like Shannon. Shannon called today. I remember <laughs> when I said that. <laughs> um, Laron. 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 Laron, yeah. Oh, listen. You wait, within two weeks, no one will ever call him Laron again. Laron. Uh, just a, a quick word on, obviously, Queensbury. They've guided your career over the last few years. Got you to, obviously, British and Commonwealth. So, yeah, all good with that. Yeah, um, you know, we've parted ways now and um, it's uh, time to look towards the future now. Um, I'm with Eddie now and um, the future's bright. future is bright? The future is very bright. The future's exciting. I, th I just think that when you sign with us, one, we will never let you down, but two, we'll give you every opportunity. The only way you won't make it is if you're not good enough. That is it. So, you know, we'll have our ups and downs, we'll be 100% honest, but I promise you, we will give you the opportunities. And this is what I say to a lot of, you know, he's at a different level now, but the young kids coming through, if you're not good enough, you won't make it. You know, sometimes you get knocked down, you've got to get back up again. You saw John Doherty last week, you know, same weight class, where he's knocking everyone out and they say, yeah, Jack Cullen, no problem. We'll knock, we'll, that's easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bang, you come unstuck. It's not the end, it's how you bounce back. But if you're not good enough, you won't win when you go through the levels. And that's what happened with the dock last week. You know, that's what's happened with Kez Ashfak against Mark Leach. Doesn't mean you can't come again. You actually could come back a better fighter. But the thing is, you will get the opportunities with us. But ultimately, in, in life, in sport, in business, if you're not good enough, you will not make it. You've got to be lucky. You've got to have the right team. You've got to take the right opportunities. But it all comes down to how good you are. I believe this, this young man, Lerone Richards Coogan, can become a world champion. I really do. Dave Coldwell, one of the best trainers in the world, Sam, shout out to Sam Jones and Adam Morley, who I'm starting to like. Do you know what I mean? I've never disliked Sam Jones uh, because he's a very lovable guy. But I think these guys actually, I think the perception maybe with Sam is that he's a bit of a, don't take it the wrong way, Sam, a bit of a joker. You know, in a good way, you know, but he's up and. But I, one, I know he cares deeply about his fighters. He's obsessed with his fighters. He's got to be a little bit careful because he thinks all of his fighters are Muhammad Ali. Do you know what I mean? So it's like, you know, he thinks Lerone's going to go on and, you know, become, I don't know, Roy Jones Jr. and Joe Joyce is going to knock out Dubois next week and Florian Marcoux's the new, you know, but it's great to have that passion. It's no different from you, really, yeah. is it? Yeah. 
you're, yeah, actually, you're right. Well, someone called him a Primark Eddie Hearn. I thought that was a bit, thought that was a bit out of order to Sam. I think he's, uh, I think, I think he's very good. I think he's a very good manager. Yeah. And actually, he's making moves. You know, he's, he's, uh, I think he's doing well. And he's a pest. You have to be a pest. You know, he don't let me every day. You know, once Lerome got done, now it's Florian Marco. Every ten minutes. What are you going to do? Wait, wait, wait. But that's what you, that's what you're supposed to do as a manager. You're supposed to be a pest. Because if you're not out pesting, you won't get the opportunities. The ones that are quiet are the ones that wait longer. You know. I think um, for me, um, it's like for young pros moving forward, um, your team is very, very, very important. And um, for me, like when I first started turn pro, nothing was sort of structured the way it was supposed to be structured. And with Sam and Adam now, and with Dave Caldwell, everything's perfect moving forward. And I'm, I feel very, 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 very confident. It's very important that you, you can always overthink things and you can always second guess yourself. But with the right team, you don't. You just, you just let the process unfold. But you know that it's down to me because I know my team will take care of everything else. I know Sam and Adam will be bugging Eddie. I know Eddie will give me the opportunities. I know Sky will give me the platform. Yeah. I know Dave Colwell will get me in the best shape yeah. I can be in. It all comes down to me. And that's a great thing to know as an athlete because you can never look back with regrets and say, oh, I didn't do this or someone didn't do that. It's on you. And if you're not good enough, you won't make it. But at least if you're not good enough, one day you can sit back and go, I couldn't have done any more. Because you've always got to be able to look yourself in the mirror and say, I've done everything I can. And he's got the absolute world in front of him. The only thing will stop him is his ability. And we believe he has bundles of it. So he'll be just fine. Right steps, right time. And when the opportunity comes, take it just finally there's not too many shows you've got before the end of this year so if you're going to get out in December is it possibly could, could be, be as early as the Billy Joe Saunders, Billy Joe Saunders card. card I mean we've got AJ on the 12th obviously everyone wants to jump on that as well but it's going to be you know I want him, he's going to be in an 8 or a 10 rounder he's going to get out he's not going to be fighting um, you know David Benavides he just needs to get out he's been in the gym a long long time I want him to get out you've got a newborn child yeah as well I've got a little boy yeah so get the fight done, get paid, have Christmas with, with the, new, the newborn, and then absolutely attack 2021 in some proper big fights, and the European title would be lovely. Hmm. Okay, Lerone, Richards, yeah. Edward, thank you very much, and uh, best of luck with uh, yeah, this new chapter in your career. I appreciate it, thank you very much. Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO, free impartial advice on all your debt.